let's talk a little bit about the procedure buttons and the classifications of the different kinds of procedure buttons and also about the relatively new feature for in-process procedures. So if you think about the quick buttons right up at the top, they're kind of analogous to going to McDonald's and I just want one thing. I just want a Big Mac or I just want a cheeseburger. And you can order those one things just by clicking on the button here. So if I click on a Big Mac, it puts a Big Mac in the treatment plan. But each one of these buttons can only represent one procedure. If on the other hand, we go to one of these other categories down here, these can have lots of different procedures tied to them. So for example, if I click on a Happy Meal, I get all these things down here. It's not just one, I get a whole bunch of things together. So if we go look at Mickey Mouse, again, we click on one of these guys, and I only get one thing down here. If I go down here to these guys, there's my Happy Meal, and I click on that, I get a whole bunch of things. So these buttons down here allow you to put a whole bunch of procedures in with just a single mouse click. So for a lot of things, they're much more effective and much more efficient. And so how do you edit these guys? It's really pretty easily. You go up to Setup and Chart and Procedure Buttons. And right in there, there's your button. So I can double click on this. And if I want to change that Big Mac to something else, that's the way I do it. Uh, a little more related to dentistry there. There's an MO amalgam. There's a procedure code and the surfaces and so forth. So those are pretty easy to edit. When you get into these guys, these different categories down here, um, let's go down to dentures. Okay, I only have one over here. And if I double click on that, these are the procedures that are tied to that one click of that one mouse. And so I've got a seat, I've got a try in I've got a bite registration, and I've got the denture itself. So let's see how that works here. Let's close this. That was in setup. So I went to chart, procedure buttons, and then setup. But now I'm back in the actual chart. So I'm going to go down to dentures down here, and I'm going to click on the upper arch, because that's where Mickey doesn't have any teeth. And I'll click on full denture, and it put all those different things in there for me. So there's the denture, uh, there's the bite registration, there's a try-in in there, and then there's the seat of the denture in there someplace too. The insurance company says you should only bill on the seat date. The problem is if you do that, where it's a, whether it's a crown or a denture or whatever, I don't want you to forget that you did that denture and inadvertently leave that charge off the patient's account. And that happens, believe it or not. So the way you prevent this is by using the relatively new feature called the in process for procedures. And we'll show you how you set it up. Is to go into your setup chart again, procedure buttons, we'll go to denture, we'll double click on this, and right up here, this little checkbox here, which I already checked, but it says group for multiple visits. Okay, if you want to delay the uh, completion date on that denture or crown or whatever it is, uh, then first of all, you've got to enter it as one of these quick procedures in here. And secondly, you've got to go up for this group of procedures and click that little box because the default is that it's not clicked. Okay, it's not checked. So how's it work? Okay, let's go in and let's set the denture complete here. So I'm just going to do it quick and dirty. I'm going to go up here and set this complete. Yep, never mind about that. Okay, and if you look, normally we would see a C in there but we don't. We see a C slash P for in progress. And what this means is that, yeah, we've charged the patient, but we're, that's not really complete. It's sort of halfway between the treatment plan and complete. And in order to make this complete, we have to complete the other procedures that are tied to that button. So let's do that. Let's go in and do the bite registration. That's complete. We'll go in and do the try-in. That's complete. And now finally we'll do the seat. Now watch what's hap what happens. Let me cancel here. 
Watch what happens. I still got this guy's CP. All these guys are CP, but we don't care about the rest of them. Now when I do this last one, everybody's complete. Okay, and now this denture will show up on your procedures not billed to insurance report, which is really important to follow. So that's really very slick. That's a nice way to automate that. There's no reason anymore to bill necessarily on the prep date or on the impression date. I don't have a problem with it particularly, except with dentures, sometimes you're doing an immediate denture and it may be a little while before you actually do the seat. So this might be a good place to use this. I'm frankly not too worried about using it with crowns, but don't tell the insurance companies I said that. So hopefully that, that kind of illustrates not only how these this different procedure buttons work and how to edit them, but also how this new feature of in-progress status works. Again, really useful, well-thought-out feature.